Hey guys and welcome to another episode. Today in this video I'm going to be talking about 3M lubrication. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the 3M copper anises and 3M silicone paste. Now behind me I've got my brother's Mini Cooper and it's got probably 100,000 kilometers on these brakes if not more. And I haven't touched these things in years to prove a point. Now when I installed these brakes on the car I used copper anises from 3M and their silicone paste. This car has been driven very hard, it's been maintained, but at the same time I haven't touched these brakes at all since I installed them. Now with that being said, I've got new brakes right here, but before I install them, I'm going to show you how easy it actually is to take everything apart once you apply a nice amount of lubrication on it when you install it. If you take the two seconds when you're installing your parts and you do it properly, you're not going to be swearing when you have to take it apart and replace it. So I need to disassemble the entire braking assembly so I can replace it with the new stuff. Now with that being said, I applied 3M copper anises when I installed this bolt that holds the rotor onto the hub. I put some on the back side of the rotor to keep it so the rotor doesn't actually fuse and corrode to the back side of the hub as well. On this side over here we've got the brake caliper and we've got these little covers to protect the, uh, the grease from getting in there from getting contaminated and this is going to allow the caliper to slide in and out. With 100,000 kilometers being driven on this car, this thing definitely needed to be looked at at least three times. If you guys do your own work to your car, I suggest taking a look at your brakes at least once every other season. So what I like to do is I like to do it before winter and after winter. So actually right now I'm due. But in the meantime, I'm going to be taking this apart. So I've got to take off the one dust cap up top there and there's another one down here. And then remove the slider pin. Once those are removed, you then need to remove this little clip here. Now most German cars have brakes that are like this, so you just gotta pry that out. Then remove this little clip from the brake. And after that, you should then be able to pry out the brake caliper from here. And you can see that these pads and rotors definitely need to be replaced. Look at that. That just goes to show how badly worn these things are. But with that being said, they came out very easily. Next up is gonna be removing this bolt that's holding the rotor onto the hub. Now usually these things can get rusted on very well. Now I'm just gonna be using my DeWalt impact driver and this thing doesn't torque more than 50 foot pounds. If you use a ratchet, it'll actually be a lot stronger than using this. But I'm just gonna be using this because it's faster. Now if this bolt is rusted on there good, this thing really shouldn't come out. Even with this impact driver, it won't remove it. But let's see how well the 3M copper anises held up. Look at that, it comes out like a dream. You can even see on the bolt that we removed that there's still some 3M copper anises on it. Now if we didn't have any copper anises in between the rotor and the hub, I shouldn't be able to just pull on the rotor and pull it off. It should be seized on there for good. Look at that, I just touched it and it fell off. These things haven't been serviced in a while. So you should be able to just pull it off. Wow, that's a bad rotor. Look at the pitting on there. But you see how easy it came off? That's the beauty of this stuff, it works amazing. It makes my life so much easier. After I know that I installed the brakes the first time, the ones that we just removed, we can then install new ones like it's nothing. There's not gonna be any corrosion in here, even after being up in North in Canada. Cars up in Canada where I live get a beating on with salt during the winter. Rust does not stand a chance against this. So right here on the left I've got the old brake rotor and on the right I've got the new one. Now I decided to go with the same slotted StopTech rotors, both front and back, because they did a good job and they lasted a while. You can see that there's only a partial amount of this contact area that's exposed that's actually being used for braking on the front and even on the back. This entire thing should be shiny like a functioning brake. This is not really doing much. You can see there's pitting on there and it doesn't really look that nice. On the new one, you can see that we've got a fresh new contact patch and we've got a lot more area to work with. Now with that being said, to keep these new brakes, to make them as nice to remove as these ones were, I'm going to be using some 3M copper anises on the back side here, so it's the mating surface between this, so the back side of the brake rotor and the hub. Now I'm just going to be grabbing a little of this stuff, you don't need that much, you just need a little dab of it. Like that, 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 and that. And then you can either use the brush to move it around like that, or you can use your finger. Now I'm just gonna be using my finger in this situation. Just spread it around until it's nicely coated. 
And then this is gonna be making it so the brake rotor is gonna come off nice and easily as soon as we need to take it off down the road. Say we need to do the brakes again. Say another 100,000 kilometers down the road. So come in here. You don't really need anything thick. You just need a light coating of this stuff for it to work. So just coat the entire inside of here. And then we'll be able to mount this on the car. We're not gonna have to worry down the road because this is nicely coated. You can even see on here that there's still some copper anises that's exposed. And this is years after I did the brakes. Grab your new rotor, slide it into place, just like that. And then if you have a bolt that's like this that needs to be reinserted, I am gonna reinsert it back into here, but before I do that, I'm gonna clean this up, remove any rust that's on there, and then I'm gonna apply some 3M copper anises on here so it doesn't corrode to the inside of the brake. So here's it before, you can see it's a little dirty and we've got a little bit of rust forming on it. Now I'm gonna be using a bench grinder to clean this thing up. And you can see now how nice and clean this is. Now if you don't have a bench grinder, if you want, you can use sandpaper and it'll basically do the exact same thing. Now you just need a tiny dab of this stuff to work. So once you have it on there, when you thread this into the back side of the knuckle, it's gonna actually push all the anti-seize where it needs to and fill in all of the threads. So if you put your bolt on your socket, thread it in place, you can screw it in and everything is gonna be nicely lubricated. Now if we ever need to remove this, it's gonna come out nice and easily because we've got copper anises around there that's preventing the steel hub and the steel bolt from rusting and corroding together. Now to make sure that the caliper can slide in and out on this bracket freely, you need to make sure that you take care of the slider pins that go in here. With them removed, you should then take care of any rust, grease, or any marring that's on the actual slider pins, clean them up, and then re-lubricate them. So just like that bolt that we just took care of, you should do the same thing to these slider pins. So I'm gonna be using a brass wheel on a bench grinder to take care of any dirt, rust, or marring on these pins. If it's too bad, you should replace them instead of try and take care of them and salvage them. These things aren't expensive. You could probably pick them up for a buck or two and then call it a day. Now that we've got them both basically imperfection free, you're then gonna grab your 3M silicone paste and then apply a liberal amount onto each one of the sliders. So you don't need too much, you just need enough that it's completely covered, which means that it's gonna slide properly on the rubber boot. Now the way that I like to remember is that if you have metal on rubber, you use the silicone paste. If it's metal on metal, you use the 3M copper anises. So I just pushed the piston into the caliper with a special tool, this is for the rear brakes. And now I need to mount the brake pads inside the caliper and onto the bracket. Now because the brake pads that we're mounting, because they're actually made out of metal, we need to mount this metal here up to this metal. And to make sure that this doesn't fuse, with what I told you earlier, guess what kind of fluid and 3M product I'm gonna be putting up here. I'm gonna be putting the 3M copper anises on the bottom part here and top parts here on both pads. So I'm gonna have the one on one side right here that has the lubrication on it, and the same thing for the other one. So just like before, you don't need much, you just need a little bit on both sides. So one there, a little line there, and another one there. So once you have it there, when you put it up, if you move it around, it'll push it in the places that it needs to, and it'll be good. So you do the same thing for both pads, the one on the outside and the one on the inside. Now then you mount the caliper over top of the brake pads, the rotor, and everything else back here. And to make sure that the caliper will actually slide nicely on here, we need to put both of those two slider pins that were lubricated with a 3M silicone paste inside of here. So you're gonna have the one up top that you need to mount in here and insert. And then you're gonna have one more down here on the bottom of the caliper. Last but not least, we have to install this little clip on the rear bracket to keep it in place. Now a lot of German cars have setups like this and they have these little clips that hold the caliper pressed up against the brake rotor bracket. 
and you need to install this in there. And I like putting a little bit of copper anti seize on the end of each one of these tips to make sure that this steel wire doesn't seize inside the steel hole inside the caliper. And by using these two products by 3M, I am able to keep my brakes working for a long time. Now if you guys are going to be doing your own maintenance on your car, make sure that you take a look at your brakes every 20,000 kilometers, give or take. If you're doing a lot of heavy hard driving, I would check them sooner than later to make sure that they're in good working condition and nothing else breaks costing you more money down the road. I'm going to have links for both of these products in the description box so you guys can check it out and buy some if you're interested. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Nobody likes it dry. Make sure to use all that lube to keep everything working.